What up, what up, Wheatfield? What up, y'all? It's Wheat. What it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to you too. We just did a live. It should be posted um, by the time you guys get this message. And this is the energy of it. And we definitely got the energy of a Virgo. And, you know, Virgo, you are good enough energy. I'm feeling like whoever this person is that we read for is going through a series of events. Somebody or someone that's being hostile to you. And I also feel like they are throwing some energy at you. This person could be into divination. I'm getting that heavy. This energy has been with me all day. We Like we woke up with it. And when I feel, I tell you, like, I feel a sense of nervousness, a nervousness that I have not felt in, I'm almost feeling like ever, beloved. Um, I feel the energy of death, right? Um, illness, sickness, somebody that's in bad health, beloved, a sense of grief is here. And I feel like somebody is going to pass. But I feel like this person just wasn't good. Like, they weren't a good person. They could be cyberbullying you. They could be somebody that was feeding off of you. Could have been your money. It could have been for money. That this person or these people came against you. Definitely picking up on a community of people. I got a masculine and a feminine false energy, somebody that targeted you. I'm feeling for your own energy, for your life, for your prosperity, for your abundance. Um, they may have stolen something. And I feel like these people are under spiritual judgment. Yeah, see, for your abundance. Maybe, look, it was a, a contract or something like that is here and I just don't know like I've been kind of like praying and asking for revelation like what is this energy beloved and it's just staying it's almost like something that stuck to me that I cannot shake we and it's got me feeling a sense of nervousness and anxiety that I just have not felt before we I'm getting an energy of delight to try and combat it with a sense of joy, hope, you know, uh, something that you are going to conceive. You, Somebody could be pregnant um, or you're going to birth something, something that's major, something that's going to change something. Maybe, you know, a belief or a belief system. You know, how people see something. Uh, we see universal love. We see change and prosperity. I do feel like a prosperous season is getting ready to come in. We're picking up the energy of a masculine. And we did see divine masculine in the uh, evil eye oracle. So this could be a this masculine who's sending some sort of negative energy towards you. Look, divine masculine again. Somebody that played on your heart. Heart chakra energy. Um, this divine masculine could be having issues with their heart. We did pick up the energy of a heart attack. We see solar chakra, which we picked up solar plexus. We see prosperity. This person may have played on your heart for money. Yeah, magic is here and cosmic flower. It's taking a while to really dig out this energy and flesh it out and figure out exactly what's going on. Because I feel like it's so much. We see Gaia get grounded, get rooted. We see crown chakra. Somebody could actually be attempting to affect your crown chakra and your third eye, right? What it is that you, you've been shown, what you know your spiritual knowingness and your spiritual vision beloved i'm feeling three le levels of attack like 
your crown chakra, your third eye. I was also feeling throat chakra because it was like hard to get the words out, like a sense of nervousness and anxiety, attempting to speak and say something. We see compassion is here. We even see coherence in Mer Merkaba, like light body activation, but I'm really not feeling that. I'm feeling compassion. Like this is a time to have compassion, even onto somebody that did something really, really bad, really terrible. I'm feeling this person did something horrible. And I'm feeling like a change is coming. A change is coming, nine. And I'm feeling maybe it's a change in releasing the anxiety, the nervousness, right? Um, changing that energy from anxiety to amazement, like to flip it. But I'm picking up on this house. It is giving me house of horrors type of energy. Like something very, 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 very dark happened in this house, we, is what I'm picking up. Look, we see court just fell out. Somebody I feel like is in spiritual court. This could be physical court. This could be, you know, I'm feeling somebody under judgment. Again, what do you need to release? We got the energy of a return to sender. Like somebody that's throwing this energy around, like to send it back where it came from. Um, releasing the roadblocks, releasing whatever is blocking you, whatever is tying you up, whatever is holding you, whatever is haunting you, right? I'm definitely getting a traumatic experience. Again, I'm feeling house of horrors, beloved. And this could be somebody that stole something from you. It could be uh, the fact that you have some photo proof, some evidence of what was taken. And whoever took it, I feel like they want you to move in silence. See, you were somebody that had some sort of prosperity. You could be on the rise. The spirit may be, I'm seeing resurrecting. I'm seeing judgment, like uplifting you, bringing you back from some sort of low place, beloved. And as you rise up, the spirit wants you to move in silence. Definitely feeling like somebody that has a longingness for home. It could be... It could be that house, but I just don't feel like it was good energy, though, which is odd. I'm getting that syndrome. What is that? Like Stockholm syndrome, right? I just saw Stockholm, like Stockholm syndrome. Like you were around somebody that you, that you had an attachment to, but this person just was not good to you or for you. They weren't. They were false. They were fake. And I felt like they were holding on to your energy or using your heart posture, your energy against you. And I feel like this person is going to be sick. See, it's something about this house and what was going on in it. And I feel like somebody is under heavy spiritual judgment. And I feel like it's two people, at least two, a feminine and a masculine. And I feel like this is that divine masculine. They not divine. They were supposed to be, or maybe this person has a spiritual gift as well, some sort of calling and they use it and they work in dark energy. I'm definitely picking up dark energy. Trust that beloved, this person work in dark energy. And I feel like they're going to get a message of concern. A message of concern. This person is under heavy judgment. Heavy judgment. I'm feeling spiritual court, even the court of law, beloved. Somebody is going to have a sense of despair. They could have put you in a state of despair, feeling locked up and trapped. Somebody could have been trapped. They could have been. I'm saying trafficked, like trafficked, like human trafficking or something like that. Like you may have been with these people so long that you formed some sort of attachment, something that has to be purged. It, it could have started, they could have taken someone as a child, you know, almost like a child who had got trapped and caught up in a situation that they found it very hard to get out of. And I definitely feel like this masculine is going to meet their maker. That is going to happen for someone. 
and it's not nothing to feel good about it's just it is i feel like whoever you are you have a service like you you are a person that would help others right or whatever you've gone through is going to help others i'm feeling like the most high god is guiding you to either share your story or do something with it and whatever you you you're being called to do the spirit wants you to go for it to go for it like when you come away from this battle that you have been standing in for a long time like a persevering battle you're coming out with a state of high honor and anointing to do something to change something and it's based on you and your story i also feel unexpected money is coming like if these people took something from you or they have tried to block you i definitely feel again look that blockage on you try to um shake your confidence affect your energy your pride right and self um affecting your ability to transform because we definitely got transformation here transformation it's something that's happening they don't want you to change they don't want you to transform they don't want you to step into your power they don't want you to trust the path that you're on but i feel like that's what the spirit is saying to trust the path that you've been on they are trying to block your divine guidance the course that the most high god has set you upon they don't want you to leave this path behind See, trust your path and trust the universe. This ending is coming, and I feel like it's going to come in a way that maybe even you are not prepared for, right? I'm getting, I'm getting a death, right? It's something about this that is just very hard to discern, beloved. I feel like it's a lot, like it's heaviness like it's multiple layers beloved and i'm also picking up on this just somebody is under judgment for holding a grudge and abusing their spiritual gift that's what's a part of what's happening and i feel like this person is taking instead of giving but for you look again virgo energy and it's a new moon. It's a new beginning. New moon in Scorpio. I definitely feel an ending, but it's leading to a new beginning. This situation, these events that are over, nothing good is going to come from holding on to it. Nothing is gonna good is going to come to these people. I'm definitely getting return to sender energy, like a cord breaking or asking the Most High God to intercede and to intercept on your behalf, beloved. This is just so heavy. I see wounded warrior somebody whose commitment and dedication is being tested i'm also feeling the wine like you are a natural born leader um i'm also feeling confidence like confidence being shaken like you face so many battles like the ability to stand and love on self and get through it and move to calmer water has definitely been a challenge but it's something that you're going to be celebrating very very soon it says it will almost seem out of this world how suddenly it all happens for you be ready for it expect it it's happening and we saw expectation in the kipper right now somebody feels lost like the key to recovery like they can't find it and somebody is starting some sort of drama or you've been in a uh cycle of drama for a very long time and i'm trying to slow down but i feel like the energy is like rushing almost like a turbulent storm or something 
and we even tried to calm down like after the reading you know send the energy back but the spirit did not release it it's still just sitting with me it feels heavy like a weight on my chest i am seeing the words heart attack again i feel like somebody is clout hungry they just say stuff they just do shit and they don't think about it or they may be overthinking it or they may be having you in your head beloved somebody is trying to make you be anxious nervous overthinking things stressed right you could be see reflection and cock blocking i'm feeling like somebody stopping your ability to release some sort of attachment to see you know into self or what the most high god has for you again block i'm seeing third eye I'm trying to block your third eye see threatening intimidating right um somebody that's very very bothered i'm feeling like again a, a forcer like somebody that forces their way that uses threat and violence and intimidation to get you to stay yes this person wants you to stay or they wanted you to stay. If you got away from this person, kudos good for you. I feel like it was definitely the best thing to do because this energy feels very dark and heavy. Like, I mean, like very heavy. We see Carlos. Maybe somebody didn't have a vehicle or maybe they don't. But I'm feeling like maybe getting away was tough because maybe you didn't have a car. Maybe you didn't have, you know, a lot of finances, you know, resources in order to move away from this person. And maybe, you know, they could have used money. They could have just used force to get you to stay and feeling like you don't have a car. You can't move around. Um, you don't have money. You you can't move around. See, you can't move on, right? Maybe they knew that you wanted to leave and they try to keep you trapped in some sort of situation so that they can continue to feed is what I'm getting. It's something that they were doing. They were feeding off of you in some sort of way. Yeah, this person definitely caught a case if somebody dodged a bullet. And see, this case doesn't have to be sexual, like a STD or anything like that. It could be legal. They definitely could have caught a legal case. And we were going to try and... Um, We thought about going live again to bring this energy, but um, Spirit said, no, just do a pre-recording. We see a third party again, fake, fake flexing energy, moving on. Somebody ain't shit. They just not, beloved. And again, clout hungry. Somebody that just make up shit, say shit. And they could be making up shit, making up threats. You know, every time you want to move around and get away from this person, I feel like they threaten you with something. Anytime you get your hopes up, they say something to dash it. Yeah, to uh, affect your confidence and your ability to move forward, beloved. But I feel like... Either they did it to gain a lot of money or whatever the legal ramifications is from this situation could give you a lot of money. Somebody could have taken a risk for money. I'm also feeling gambling. Again, right, like the gambling table, like they took a risk to gain a lot of money. So somehow or another, in this whole situation, I got... I'm feeling like trafficking, which could also be a risk for money, right? Um, Stockholm Syndrome, like somebody being in it for so long that they develop some sort of attachment to these people, like to their captors, the people that were threatening them, the people that were uh, harming and hurting them. And I'm seeing a masculine and a feminine. 
And we got this energy too on the live. How can you mother yourself and a light worker energy? Somebody is a light worker and you have a significant service to complete. It's something about your service. Man, y'all, when I tell you my chest feels so heavy, it do. It's almost like it's locked up, like seized up, like I can't breathe or something. And we did get the energy of compassion, right, to have compassion because I feel like what's coming for these people, but love it. It is like, whoa, again, like death, like coughing energy. You are divinely guided, we... You are. Um, yeah, I feel that in the future, guided, being guided towards your future, away from these people, into your service, and you will definitely help others with your story. So if you are a person that maybe have gone through something like this, you know, a sense of um, attachment to somebody who was threatening you that may have been causing some sort of mental, spiritual, emotional harm. See, those obstacles are being removed. Those obstacles are being removed. And I'm feeling like it's going to come in a way that you did not expect. Is there something else in here? trash to some treasure to some yeah beloved and show grace you definitely are a beloved child of the most high god being called to show grace and compassion even onto your captors you know because i'm feeling like somebody is going to definitely pass and whatever you're going to do with that energy whatever your calling is is going to bring some sort of prosperity it is it's coming in soon. Things are moving quickly. It could be a lot of spell work that is being done. I don't know what the fuck these people were into, but damn it, they were doing some bullshit on to you. I don't know who it is, but again, practice a return to send a ritual to remove these blockages. I'm feeling like the most I got is definitely finna shake some shit up. It's been to pass its judgment. It's going to come down. I'm hearing that gavel slam, beloved. Like something is finna happen. And I, I the spirit is touching me um in the future. Like it's something about your destiny. It's something about the future that's really, really important. We and these people did not if they had an understanding of who you were, they didn't. But the spirit knows and the spirit saw all things. And I'm feeling retribution, like a balancing is getting ready to happen. Neighborhood drama. One of or some of your neighbors really don't like you. Fake smiles and small talk. So it could be even somebody in your neighborhood that don't like you. They being fake with you. Anything else in here? Spirit saying no. Yeah, intimacy issues. Look, somebody could definitely, they could have caught some sort of STD, a spiritually transmitted demon or some shit like that. Because it is here. Okay. Causing you to feel tired and fatigued. The person hating on you has narcissistic behavior. We Some judging you on your spiritual choices. Something like this is happening. And I mean, like, it, it's just so much going on. I feel hostility in multiple different ways, multiple different levels, like at least three different battles something that you have been battling with on three different levels almost like hit after hit after hit and that's what we said in the live beloved so if any of this sounds you know like it resonates then please watch that live we see partnership and we see burdens 
you know, again, look, lies and deceit, some sort of dark strategy. But I'm feeling like somebody gonna get caught. They've been caught for what they did. You want this one? So definitely getting somebody who needs to nurture on self love, self pour into you. And we did pull the page of cups card. And again, that could be a child, somebody that's young right? Adolescent, somebody that was under the age of 18. And again, I'm seeing the word trafficked, like somebody could have trafficked somebody. Like that's what I'm getting. Bring love into the situation. It's here, new moon in Aquarius. We also saw go deeper, new moon in Scorpio, right? Um, it's something deep that happened. Make time for self-love is here. How can you nurture and mother yourself? Healing, deep cellular healing I'm getting. Trust all that will be well. Again, look, that's another Virgo, new moon in Virgo. A new start is coming, but it's something that you don't see. A new start is coming, but it's something that you don't see. They don't see it. They don't. Nothing yet is set in stone. I feel like some things are still moving. Parts are still, you know, moving. Something is still being worked out. And for some reason, I cannot get the words out. I feel like somebody's voice was stifled. Like it was a time or a period where you were not allowed to speak or making you nervous to even speak, to speak your truth. We Like what was happening to you? Leaving the past behind, some sort of toxicity, Capricorn, devil energy. What are you releasing or what needs to be released? See, a personal issue reaches resolution. I'm picking up cancer energy or the cups, the water energy pour into you. Again, balancing self-love. Step up and lead is here and know that you are loved, beloved, anything else. Know that you are loved. It's time for you to step up and lead. And I'm feeling leadership and self-love and self-healing, releasing, um, getting, again, deep cellular healing and transformation journey. Pride is here. I love myself. See, self-love. Definitely, because these what these people may have done to you may have affected your ability to love on you, to love yourself. And I feel unconditionally weak, like to know that you're worthy, um, you are good enough, that you can speak. But yeah, see, freedom, freedom, freedom. Somebody's freedom may have been challenged. I'm feeling like somebody was locked up, somebody was kept hidden away or again traffic i'm seeing trauma i'm seeing abuse i'm seeing look relationships and envy is here and we see service <sighs> envy is like understanding that you're like everybody else like you are good enough there's no Maybe somebody took something from you, like broke your heart, smashed it, right? Somebody kept you trapped and then forming some sort of maladaptive attachment. Again, I'm getting, I'm seeing Stockholm Syndrome, pride, the ability to love on self, self-esteem. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like these people or this person hurt you. And when I say hurt, I feel like somebody was hurt deeply. We do see the energy of unexpected money. I don't know if you can sue these people or something that's going to come out of it. Maybe your story, maybe your destiny. However, you your bounce back from the situation main female is here this main female was somebody that was a false person they lie also to you they may have collected money 
something like that they aided and abetted this main this wealthy man look this main female is gonna get some sad news i can't look you're gonna be privileged we see community these people targeted you for money and somebody is gonna get sick i cannot make this shit up beloved this was a sick ass marriage but i feel like these people married you for money they courted you for money we saw expectation and of course this death card is here death and a return of your money is what i'm getting death and return of your money these people are under spiritual judgment when i say court it could be court of law in the physical 3d but i definitely feel something about spilling the tea it's something that got exposed and i'm feeling like court is a part of it um i'm feeling a uh, spiritual court looks sudden wealth Somebody gonna get some money. It's something that it was tea was spilled, something was exposed. And again, I'm seeing that car photo evidence. Whatever the fuck they planned in this family room with this fuck ass community, this dark I'm hearing dark entities. Again, I picked up on the fact that these people were divination abusers. I don't know what they called on this female, this main female. I don't know what the fuck they did in this house, aiding and abetting this person. But one person is going to give some sad ass news. They're going to find out that this person is sick. They done fucking died or some shit. Yeah. Lovers. These people could have been on some other sick ass shit too. Like you could have thought this person was a family member. They could have been with that other person and with you. And whoever these people are, they definitely got some concern. Um, maybe this person helped them target you, right? But you, I mean, it's something that this Most High God told you to expect. Expect this person to get sick. We see child here, and we were picking up as you being like the golden child, like a chosen child. Somebody is going to end up in despair. Sad news. Despair. We see a mature man is here and a mature woman. This could be your parents. It could be their parents, somebody in their family. You know, like... It could, again, I'm getting a community of people. We see for fortune, for money, imprisonment, whatever the fuck these people were doing, they're going to go to jail. I feel like somebody could be on the run or trying to run away. This female here, maybe she don't look. Unexpected income, great fortune, and fucking coughing. Why? Because they came up against you, who was a light worker. Message of concern. Somebody finna get a message of concern. You, this light worker energy. Yeah, because these people was false and fake, and they fucking came against you. Yeah, yeah. They probably false, fake ass. Yeah, they not light workers. They work in the dark. That's what the spirit said. It was a wealthy man and you, this light worker. And they used you for money, for your abundance, for your light, for your energy. Somebody is going to fuck the jail we and I cannot make it up. Double down. We see poverty. Poverty. High honor. There's a pathway for, for who? For you, this light worker. Your honor. You were led away from this darkness. You. I can't make this shit up. Anything else in here? Spirit said no. Light worker. You. It's all about you. And this wealthy man that pursued you for your energy. You are going to be celebrating something very soon. You are. Celebrating something very, very soon. I'm seeing a spiritual link. 
Stay aligned with your highest dreams and ideals to find success. Stay aligned. I feel cellular healing, deep transformation. I'm feeling, you know, breaking away from the maladaptive behaviors that may have been put or placed upon you because of the situation. Somebody threatening you, somebody holding you against your will or some shit like that, beloved. Mother of fire. See? Shine and rise. You are getting ready to rise from the ashes of this shit. I'm feeling with confidence, self-esteem. I feel like, no, you look, that's true. That's true. You're going to get some clarity. We also see off, look, strength tested. And we had your, your commitment was being tested in the life, beloved. Limitless possibility. I'm feeling like your abundance is unlimited. Three and seven breaking down to a 10. I'm seeing 10 of pentacles. Like these people wanted money and they targeted you to get it. Yes. Father of water. Balance and harmony. And that's what we were saying um, on the live. We saw a page of cups and we had that feeling for somebody to nurture themselves in order to grow that love up. Again, self-pride, self-esteem, loving on self, mothering and nurturing you, pouring into you. And from a page to a night, offering love into Queen of Cups, where you are constantly pouring your into self until you get to a point of balance and harmony. Balancing out your emotions. Right, the huntress, soul awakening. This definitely could have been a hard situation to open somebody up, to wake them up to who they are, to what's down in their lineage, to raise up something. I feel like the spirits of your ancestors being lifted because you woke up, beloved, peacemaker. I'm feeling a peaceful warrior a shaman trust the path that you're on and that is like the second or third time we've seen this energy to trust the path nurture your harvest the harvest within nurturing the within will have it manifest on the out I'm feeling like the energy is finally starting to come down a little bit, but it's still very high, very thick, very high. But look, the deviant, we're talking about chaos and constru con construction, chaos and destruction, conscious connections, the twin. This could be a, I'm hearing false flame, right? Father God, that's the truth. Radical truth. This was a false flame. Creator of air. Something is happening. It's getting ready to happen fast. Again, that's that eight of wine speed that we saw. Something is happening fast. Like the energy is picking up. The momentum is gaining. I'm feeling emotions running high. I'm feeling shit coming to a head. I feel shit getting ready to end, beloved. Look, fire, father of fire, passion ignited. And we did see the mother of fire as well. King and queen of wands. Altar of water, love overflowing. I've never even seen this card before. I'm feeling leadership. I'm feeling. I'm hearing leadership and confidence. Pouring into self until you are overflowing, beloved. We see Father of Earth. That's this wealthy man. And the most high God is going to deal with their ass. I'm talking about the radical truth. I mean, because it's boundaries. This person, I feel like, um, did something to bind you. Or they're going to be blocked out, um, blotted out, right? Return to the spirit. We see you being moved away, victorious, beloved. Maybe something moved you away from this chaos this, and destruction, from this twin and all of this shit that you were going through, but 
I'm feeling like it left a stain, an attachment to you. Again, these people were attached to your energy, but which is fucked up because I feel like you were young. We like almost a child, like a babe. It's something about you being a a, chi a, a chosen child. But I also feel like when they got a hold of you, you were young, beloved, and impressionable. Something about them threatening you, forcing you, um, feeding off of you in some sort of way. This one. The top card was exercise gratitude. We see clarify your desires. What is it that you want now? Be clear about what you want. Do not ask out of lack for from deepest joy, the deepest joy. And again, we felt like the energy of delight to kind of hold on to joy, hold on to your life, get up. We feel like, again, somebody is a wounded warrior. Maybe the spirit sent some help in to pull you out of a dark situation heal definitely a time for healing i'm feeling you somebody with this unicorn spirit acknowledging these wounds wounds need to be acknowledged before they can heal especially those that are unseen deep cellular healing beloved i'm feeling like this was a heavy traumatic experience and it may have affected you in more ways than you realize beloved again i'm seeing the word stockholm syndrome i have to look that up and make sure it is what i'm feeling but that's what i'm feeling we see co-creation we see offer grace and somebody might even write about it see you might even write about it and whatever the fuck this book is that you put out that the most high god is going to co-create with you is going to be about this experience is going to help others is going to serve you help heal you help heal others going through bring some awareness to the situation and i'm feeling prosperity and abundance like every need is going to be met i'm saying it could be a risk for you to do it but it's going to be prosperous look right i can't make it up right Somebody is going to write about it. Yeah, that's what you're going to create. That's what you're going to birth. A whole book, a testimony on this. Anything else in here? Yes. Everyone has to create, removing toxicity. Remove toxicity. I'm feeling like you getting to a point to change your environment right you did you were led away from this toxic environment and you're going to write about this you're going to create a work that is going to be profound beloved that's what it is and that's why i feel like your throat chakra also is being affected like somebody that's nervous to speak somebody that's nervous to say what happened to me how they what they did to you, the trauma. I'm feeling how they intimidated you, how they threatened you, right? I'm feeling like you're going to help other people learn about these situations. I'm feeling like you writing about everything that you learned through this situation. Um, definitely feeling a really heavy energy. Whoever these people are, they don't want you to say shit. They don't want you to say nothing. Because I feel like that's what's going to spill the tea. I also feel like somebody got some sort of photo evidence against these people. And that's going to help them, whether it's in a court of law as well. Because we did feel somebody caught a case. Um, yeah, we see uh, return to center. But I'm getting return to sender. Whatever energy or chaotic e that these... We do see chaotic events. They don't benefit from you panicking or a panicky reaction, but I'm feeling like the chaos from the events, I'm seeing return to sender. I'm seeing healing. I'm seeing sending it back, offering up to the most high God so it could send it back. It could issue its judgment, I'm feeling, so that you could release it. We also see 
control your emotions. Your feelings are choices. It's what the card said. How do you choose to feel about it? Be proud. How many times did we see pride? Be proud. I feel confident in every situation. Somebody is trying to challenge your confidence. Feel good about the path that you are on. Trust it. Time and effort. It says being patient with action and patient with results. So act quickly, but be patient and wait on things to come in for it to realize, to materialize, beloved. Put the work in and the results will come. What is one thing you've been wanting to try? Writing this book, starting it, dealing with setbacks, mental detox. Step back from the craziness of the world, the situation that you've gone through. Take a mental detox and turn off things that do not add value to your life. Write down your boundaries and draw a hard line. Boundaries. Write down your boundaries and draw a hard line. Mental detox. Anything else in here? Spirit saying no. Which one? This one. Definitely see a pathway. We had we dropped something. Focus. Bring in more focus, and we see receptivity. Be receptive to what the Most High God is going to bring into you. Um, the help that you need to move you. We see main male and a pathway. Um, this main male could be a new person. Don't know if you are ready for that type of energy. They don't have to be romantic. They could just be a friend. It could be platonic. It could be a therapist. It could be somebody at work. It could be a publisher or a publicist, a mentor, somebody to help you get through this situation. See, wealthy man, again, healing from this situation. I'm feeling your honor being restored or you receiving some sort of honors for the work that you're going to do. An honor, be look, courthouse. Definitely court. Definitely judgment. We see change is going to happen and that change comes with sudden wealth. Shit is going to change. House of horrors. This is what I keep picking up on this fucking property, beloved. Somebody went through it in this fucking house with this person. Family room. Whatever the fuck these people was doing. And I was picking up somebody in distant horizon like overseas. I kept hearing overseas. Somebody may have courted you. They could have took you overseas. Or they could, this relationship and this situation could have happened overseas somewhere. Definitely feeling like a far off land. Courtship. And look, false person. These people targeted you for your privilege, for your money. Look, they stole from you. And it could have been a lot. Like great fortune. Somebody is definitely going to go to jail. Somebody going to jail and I feel like somebody is going to die. lovers. It was in reverse. It was false. It was fake. They use your love against you. We see work. Maybe you had to work hard to get away from these people. Maybe they put you in some sort of financial constraint, made things hard for you. Message of concern to a mature man. Yeah, somebody is going to get sick. Look, message of concern, mature man, bad health, and mature woman. Somebody going to get sick. Not only I feel like is this false person, is feminine going to get a message, but I feel like they parents will. If this person's parents is are alive, they're going to get they're going to get a message cuz this person is being judged. Definitely being judged. Concern and despair is here. Look for how they worked, what they did. Lead, probably because of a sense of poverty, being impoverished to get money from people. Yeah, they was working to get money. 
but whatever they took from you is going to be returned to you. We saw sad news and main female. Again, this main female that was false and fake is going to get some sad news. Look, a change is coming. A change is coming your way. A change is coming. We see a gift here. They're going to get sad news, but for you, it's going to be a pleasant letter, beloved. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. Somebody going to get fucking sick. Again. Court, these people are under judgment. Somebody could get sick and die. Somebody else could go to fuck to jail. Court judgment. And we see you here with this expectation because somebody stole something from you. They were thieves. And it was probably a whole lot of fucking money. A whole lot of money. They thought they locked up on something. They Look, it could be causing you some dark thoughts. Or it was just the way that these people were thinking. Other people think bad about them, beloved. Like the truth is out. The tea has been spilt. I'm feeling rich girl. Somebody going to be rich. And this person was false. Or maybe this rich girl was pretending in some sort of way. But I feel like you're going to end up privileged because these people was fucking fake puppeteering the feminine could have been puppeteering the masculine or the masculine was puppeteering the feminine the masculine she was following after what the fuck he told her she gonna go to jail and he gonna get a coffin beloved they planned it family room secrets in the plan family room secrets in this house house of doom house of horrors is what i'm picking up yeah grief and sorrow Grief and sorrow is here. We see this man. Look, fucking funeral. Grief and sorrow. We got a main male. Number one, I feel like you starting over to the rich girl. is going to be something in the future. Down the line after healing has occurred. I'm getting that. But somebody is going to fucking die. His thoughts. I'm feeling like a product of his thoughts. Or he may know about it. He may be. We see. You don't want that his thoughts I'm hearing his thinking somebody is concerned about the outcome yep they concerned despair and look backed up with thoughts concern despair and backed up with thoughts I don't know what the fuck this person is going through a lot of heart anxiety and they could be sending that energy over to you they concerned about you being victorious and winning this case, a sense of despair, a gift. Look, they concerned about you winning this case, a gift, something being given on to you. I'm feeling a pathway to this. For you being fucking rich as shit. And it's not just about the book that you're going to write. I'm feeling like all of this is going to be in the book that you write. But it's something else that's going on with this court case. What they did. Money. It's like so much that it's like my mind is racing trying to get a handle on the energy. Like to control it. Because I feel like a fight. Like a spiritual battle that's just ongoing. And like Nine of Wands energy. Like you've been in it so long. Like you're tired. Or you have even. Look. And I call this out. It's like I'm surprised the hangman didn't come out. There it is. It's something that you don't see. It's something that you don't know. I'm hearing like fighting to hold on. You know what I mean? And even attached to things and people who are not good for you. Some sense of maladaptive behavior. Some sense of attachment. Again, I'm seeing Stockholm Syndrome and that shit hit me in the kingdom again, beloved. Something that happened in the past. An attachment to the past, memories, flashbacks, and these, look, judgment or releasing the chaos and conflict, everything that was associated with it. I don't know how this person, you hooked up with them in a relationship or something like that, maybe thinking that this was your person, maybe this person was older than you and promised you something. May I don't know what it was, or 
they how they got their hands on you, but they did, and they got their hooks on you, into you, feeding and sucking off of you. There could have been some shit because y'all had money. Um, I don't know, man. It's just like wow. This is a lot. Look, a lot. Look, this was a lot. I'm feeling this, man. Heart torn to pieces. Heart torn to pieces, beloved. If this any of this resonates, see that live. We see justice, balance, balance and harmony, but also justice coming in for you. We for the shit that they did to you, man. You protected. Look. Knight of Wands, Energy, and Emperor. This person could have definitely been older than you. Definitely older than you. Because I feel somebody that was young, that was impressionable. Somebody that they got their hooks into. And for some reason, either they made money off of you or you had money some kind of way. Something, somehow or another money came into play magician we see three of pentacles a manipulator working together with others and i'm feeling again anxiety anxiousness they are concerned about what the fuck they did a sense of despair their thoughts man it's something where is it The way what they how they worked what they did and i'm also feeling divination page of cups i'm seeing healing high priestess energy they did this against a high priestess chosen one somebody whose light is very specific very different but i'm also feeling transmuting Growing your light, beloved. Ten cups. It could have been something in their family. I don't know, because we definitely picked up on parents, right? I don't know how these people got their money. But it's something, I'm hearing like a family business. It's something to do with family. These people are definitely family. The uh, main female that's false as shit, this wealthy man, and the mature and mature mature man and woman. These are all family. Yes, they gonna be fucked. They gonna be lost. And I'm feeling a lack, financial constraints. Whatever the fuck they do to get money, I feel is man. Look this betraying people to get money betrayal lies deceit theft even unaliving people we yes to get money they may have yeah tried to unalive you to keep you from speaking or just like time's up or some shit. And I don't know if you escaped these people, if you got away from them, something. But this is happening or happened to someone. This has happened to someone. Spirit say they moved you away from it. But this is what happened. Look, lies and deceit. Can't make it up. We, it, look. And I'm seeing I'm cooling in with them sneaking with that weapon in their hand. But it's something that happened. Somebody spilled the tea. It's been, somebody has been exposed. Look, tower moment to these people. Blew the whole motherfucking operation up. This wealthy man. What the fuck they was doing to people. This shit got me so fucking hot. Because I'm telling you, I felt like I stepped into the goddamn twilight zone. I woke up today like, what the fuck is going on? Like I was in a whole nother world. Like, what the hell is this? And the energy been sitting on me, and it's like, we got to read it. Call your energy back. I'm feeling like somebody wants to hold on to you or hold on to wealth or hold on to something. Greedy, selfish, some of us.
these people, and again, I'm feeling like somebody that's just trying to hold on. Somebody that's just trying to hold on. That's true. Ace of Swords clarity. That's true. Somebody just trying to hold on weak. But it's definitely an opportunity here from all of this fucking grief. It's an opportunity, but it's going to come with a sense of grief. When I say grief, I mean heavy grief. Grief. Heavy grief. I'm feeling crying and I'm feeling gnashing of the teeth. I'm feeling like the most I got is wrath with these people. Like what the fuck they did to the week. Yeah, beloved. Somebody is going to get reaped. Somebody finna get reaped. Trap it up energy. Because we had to get it out. I felt like it wasn't done, but I just couldn't stay in it no more spirit said that was enough for the moment because we was already at like an hour and 15 on a live beloved but it was just like the energy was so heavy we couldn't do it look somebody might have started watching or just watch and learn beloved watch and learn watch wait and see standing on the truth i definitely feel the inspiration to write this book i'm feeling like when you write this book it's gonna help people cross some sort of gap some sort of bridge of truth is gonna be here i'm feeling like the spirit is guiding you i'm feeling like you're gonna help tons and tons of people bridge some sort of gap to get over something healing those who are struggling and juggling and may have been going through it for a long time beloved your perseverance your dedication your commitment i'm feeling all of it is going to be healing beloved tethered and attached to the spirit and I'm feeling like the spirit of the Most High God, the Alpha and, uh, and Omega, are going to be with you every step of the way, helping you do it, giving you the ideas and the inspirations that you need in order to help people who are juggling and struggling and who have been going through it for a long time. We come right back to it. Confidence pride of the ability to move forward to be rooted and secure and i'm feeling that gift i'm feeling inspiration i'm feeling passion ignited i'm feeling light worker with that light coming out of your hand beloved like you see how much it brightens up like everything behind you i'm feeling like your light is significant it's very different and you get back to it permanent energy getting back to that Two of Cups come together with self. I'm seeing happiness. Even if this is a relationship down the line, I'm seeing happiness, joy, bliss, delight. I'm seeing security. I'm seeing legacy. All of it, beloved. That's it. That's what the Spirit said. 102, 33. I'm feeling everything being lined up, beloved. Giving and receiving with that six on that 33. You mastering something. Whatever was taken is being given back, beloved. You talking about heartache and grief. It could be grief for two people that's coming. Could be their parents. It could be somebody going to jail. It could be somebody ending up in a coffin. Because these people was doing some fucked up shit. And I feel somebody needs some deep love, comforting, nurturing, Feeling like somebody getting patted on the back, like how you would do that to a baby and just kind of rock them and console them. Consolation. My heart is with you, beloved. Glory to the most high God. Because I feel like you're going to do a work and it will be impactful, helping to raise up a weak nation. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Tears of We Throw Show. You show enough, never know what you're going to get. Beloved, we've been to ring the bell a couple times. Most High God said singing bowl.
very low. Something very negative. And I thank the Alpha and Omega for giving us the strength to channel it, to bring the message onto the person that needed to hear it. I'm getting called to this visual, a golden new era, a new beginning, cool energy for somebody that's coming for you. I'm feeling something that will garner accolades, honors for the work that you will do. Double mission is what we got. Channeling and uplifting humanity. But it will be born out of this. I'm seeing immense tragedy. Thank you again, the Alpha and Omega for being with us. I love you, I love you, I love you just like that because they created us to be the infinite intelligence breathing. The word lives in this day. Hold on to your spirit, beloved. Don't let anybody or anything take that away. To the next now, this was Dylan. I'll share.